Ruger LCP2 Part 4. At the end of Episode 3, we had four issues to be resolved. 1. Number 1. Light Strikes. 2. Accidental Magazine Disengagement. 3. Cyclic Issues. 4. Premature Slide Lock. Solutions to Try. For Light Strikes, the Galloway Spring Kit's Heavier Hammer Spring and Lighter Firing Pin Return Spring. To prevent accidental magazine disengagements, a holster with good mag button coverage. For cyclic issues, Galloway Spring Kit's Heavier Extractor Spring. Premature slide lock, we no idea yet. The 22LR Ruger LCP2 is the preeminent deep concealment semi-auto pistol with a very high score on our rounds per size and weight spreadsheet. It is second only to the Caltech P17 if you exclude the large bodied CP33 and the SIG P322. Number one if you insist on a pocket carry size semi auto pistol. Since the LCP2 is so handsome and adorable, Amgun has called it a work in progress rather than something more unfavorable. The light strikes are for me one of the most onerous problems with the LCP. To my eye, the problem stems from a firing pin that protrudes from the bolt face about half that of my other rimfire firearms. Maybe it has to be that short to prevent drag during the extraction ejection process or to prevent slam fires. My light strike solution is to install the Galloway Precision Spring Kit. Installing the lighter firing pin return spring is easy enough. Just drive out the roll pin, pull out the firing pin and remove the stock return spring, clean the firing pin channel while you're in there, then place the Galloway spring on the firing pin and insert it with the scallop facing down. Hold it in place while you tap the roll pin back in place. Be sure to watch the Galloway Precision installation video for details. Installing the stiffer extractor spring is similarly easy. Drive out the row pin, pull off the extractor, remove the stock spring, clean things up a bit, set the Galloway spring in place, press the extractor in place, and tap the roll pin back in place. That was the easy part. Now installing the stiff Galloway hammer spring is far more difficult. And this is why I will not recommend the 22LR Ruger LCP2 for the casual gun owner. Removing the fire control unit unleashes many springs and small parts. If you lack mechanical ability, precise manual dexterity, or patience, you could send the LCP to Galloway to do the installation for you. I think it costs about $50 plus the shipping hassles. And while you're removing the fire control unit, I recommend also installing a stiffer mag button spring. I got mine from M Carbo, but I think Galloway offers one too. Moreover, I think it's worth installing the Galloway Sigurd short stroke trigger as a possible means to prevent trigger bite. They were out of stock when I got my spring kit, so I didn't get one myself. This is also a good time to remove the magazine disconnector safety. Anyway, the key steps to getting inside. Remove the main spring cap. Unhook the main spring from the pin. Drive out the fire control unit retaining pins. Note that the rear pin has a groove in the middle. While prying out a bit on the grip frame so it clears the serial number, press up on the fire control unit. For me, pressing up on the slide release seems to work well. Thus to remove the fire control unit from the grip frame. Go ahead and do a controlled disassembly of the FCU to prevent the loss of parts. Key parts are slide stop arm and spring, trigger bar and spring, hammer safety, safety lever, disconnector, trigger pin, and trigger. Drive out the roll pin holding the mainspring to the hammer. Insert Galloway mainspring. Note that the bottom hook will be facing 180 degrees from the stock spring. Makes things a bit more challenging on final assembly. Now reassemble all those parts, balancing and holding all of those pieces in place while you lower the FCU to the grip frame. But before you fully seat the rear part of the fire control unit, you must insert a small screwdriver underneath to press the sear in front of the hammer. Pry the mainspring onto its pin, snap the cap into place, and function chip. 
What do you get for all of this effort? MCARBO's stiffer mag button spring cuts accidental mag disengagements by about 70%. It doesn't eliminate them, at least for me, when using the soft pocket holster included with the pistol. Get a pocket Kydex holster that provides good coverage of the trigger and protects the mag button. I haven't found one yet, so I would probably make my own. But between the stiffer spring and a Kydex holster, this problem should be pretty much eliminated. With the Galloway Precision Spring Kit, light strikes are now rare. And in 500 rounds of testing, 300 rounds of mini mag, 100 rounds of punch, 50 rounds of standard velocity, and 50 rounds of velocitor, I had only one failure to fire. And given that I tried the cartridge three times, and each time there was a solid dimple on the rim, so not the fault of the pistol. Thanks, Galloway Precision. Extraction, ejection, and feed issues are definitely reduced, although I still had four feed issues, two with punch, one with standard velocity, and one with velocitor. During the 500 round session, I had no premature slide locks. Was that just luck, or was there something with the upgrades that prevented that? My hypothesis is that between the stiffer hammer spring and stiffer recoil spring, maybe the slide isn't bottoming out so hard that it jars the slide lock up. We had hoped to try the Remington Golden Bullet, a cartridge recommended by a couple of subscribers, but I was unable to get my hands on some for testing. So at this point, Running 40 grain mini mag, I'm pretty comfortable with the 22LR Ruger LCP2 for a deep concealment, highly convenient CCW pistol. But as for recommending it, well, if you don't mind installing the Galloway Precision Spring Kit, a stiffer mag button spring, and maybe a stiffer recoil spring, you can end up with a pretty sweet pistol. Basically adding about $150 when you factor in installation to the cost of the pistol. I expended over 2,000 rounds troubleshooting and experimenting to get the 22 LCP right. If you get one, hopefully this video is your shortcut to a reliable 22LR Ruger LCP2.